We are live, I think. Yeah, I think we are. Hey, hey Twitch. Welcome to a stream of mine. We're going to be reviewing a couple games today. I have one in my hand and I got to go get another from my wall of games. <laughs> I mean, I think it's better to do it here, because on YouTube, it was... I, I messed up with my camera, so... Excuse me. Here is fine. I'm going to go get that other game, then I'm going to review... The game I'm looking at right now, and then I'm going to go... After that, I'm going to review the other one. And then I think I'm going to head out. So, back in one sec, audience. You know... Beep, 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 beep. Uh. Beep, 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 beep. And to wrap up this little collection, let's get one of the Yo ho! Yeah, titles. Huh. Just a PS3 controller. <laughs> uh. All right. Are you ready, kids? That gives it right away to what the game is. SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pantis. This. Oh man. <laughs> okay. I don't have much SpongeBob games, but you know, I see reviews of others. This is one of the best. This specific version. Of course. The old one's funny to me. It's like a. Uh, Puzzle, rhythm game, this isn't, or mini game. <laughs> and this one, it's the episode where SpongeBob and Patrick find a, they find the amulet, and they find the, and it lands to the bus, as you see here. Oh yeah, uh, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Sandy also join the fray. I mean, it's faithful to the to the special, cause money and art and science. Huh, huh, SpongeBob. Let's talk about the actual game. I've played through it multiple times, so I feel like I got a very good, strong what I'm gonna say. It's a 3D platformer, and it's honestly. Well, it's not the best game on the Nintendo DS, I mean, Mario, and all that's got it, but, you know. but I mean, it's a good platformer with good collectibles, and it's also a buddy, it's a buddy platformer. What I mean by that is you have two characters. You can play as Spongebob, Patrick, Sandy, or Mr. Krabs. Or, if you unlock the game at the end and collect everything, unlock Squandwar. <laughs> that was one of the best things I experienced when I was 11. That's when I played the game. Uh, well, I may as well also show you the spine. Take a good look at that. And then the back. So there's that game. Next, we're going to shift from Nickelodeon to Disney for a bit. Because we got 
a game based on one of my the games I picked are based on things I like or liked as a kid. The next game after this one is going to be one of the best. And yes, it is a GameCube game, as you can see. It's Cars. <laughs> I have this, like, rule. If it's one of my favorite whatever, like, cartoon, video game, TV show, I always get the game adaptation. I don't know. I'm a sucker for licensed games. Why do I like licensed games? Well... I'll, re I'll say it after this. Cars is an open world exploration akin to like those other open world games like Grand Theft Auto and all that. But unlike Grand Theft Auto, you do not carjack people. You are the car and you, dr and you do races. Like this. This is like this. I don't know. Anyway, and uh, in the post, it'll be whatever. Anyway, it is a it's an open world game, and you can do races, have fun. On my channel, on my YouTube channel, I've actually done videos of this game, and maybe I'll do one in the future. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. I'll be danged if you like races and cars. This is the one. I would say if you want, you can get like the Xbox or Xbox or Six or PlayStation Two. Get any version except the Wii. For home console versions, get everyone except for the Wii. I'll tell you that right now. I just, I'm not a big fan of motion control. Now, we're going to shift over to the Cartoon Network. You see, I get all three of the studio games here. Now, a little fact about me. I was born in 2001. And if there's anything that signifies a baby or kid, I, I was a kid, baby slash kid in the 2000s, and on Cartoon Network, there was one superhero who, you know, was like your your idol. I mean, he was my idol. No, you're wrong. It's freaking Ben 10. Ben 10 Cosmic Destruction. I've played some other Ben 10 games, and this one is like the pinnacle best game. And <laughs> I really got the French version. Uh, the French Canadian version. This is a 2D platformer. And along with some other stuff, I am a sucker for 2D platformers. It's like... It's like honestly one of the best things I could ever experience. Uh, plus it has the ultimate aliens, which were always some of my favorites, and some of the other aliens. If I have to choose one of the aliens that's not part of the original, like these five, Terra Spin's my favorite, followed by Energy and Water Hazard. Anyway, the game was fun. Uh, it's not out. Actually, it is. Y'all can't see it, but it's over on my entertainment area. But yeah, I got the game off Amazon. I, I had the game, but I lost it. Oh, and there's one thing I want to show y'all before we go on to this last game. Take a look over there. That is a Ben 10 poster. That I just have in my room. <laughs> okay, before I 
Check this last game. Let's check the chat real quick. No one said anything. All right. Now, this was one of the very first games I ever got myself, and it's based on one of my. I got let's check. Based on one of my favorite favorite things as a kid. I do not like the reboot of this. I mean, unlike the Ben 10 reboot, I actually like the Ben 10 reboot. But this specific one, the reboot was bad, but the original, which is what I have here, is one of the best. Again, if you're a 2000s baby slash kid, you should know this product. Now, it's freaking Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Ah, yes. The pinnacle of my collection. The game that will always stay with me. It has one of the best stories. I've, I've played the other ones. I swear to you, I, I, I played all the other ones. Well, not the Champions of Astoria, the originals. And this, this is one of the best stories I've ever seen. It's a turn-based approach where everyone takes their turn, and you throw away it like they do in the show. And you get to create a character. That's my favorite aspect of any game, is when you can't create your own person, it feels like you're in the world too. Alright. Now... I'm going to do a tier list. Ew. Okay, tier list time. Here we go. So, starting off at the very top, we have obviously backing up Mount Brawlers. Then we got Ben 10, SpongeBob, then Cars. That's the order. That's the order I'm going with. And let's not to say I don't like the Cars game, I just had to rank them. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for this live stream and honestly this was a lot of fun don't forget to like comment and actually that, that's for YouTube I am uploading this to YouTube too uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch follow me on my YouTube channel subscribe uh -huh. with all that being said I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next live stream Bye.